Bottom line up front, 13.8% of Tesla fatalities involve fire. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you are thinking about purchasing a Tesla, then you should highly consider this information. Hello world, my name is Data Mining Mike. I'm a data scientist and machine learning researcher with the Blooming Biz Media Network. And today we're gonna data mine into the world of Tesla motor fatalities. I originally sourced the data from Kaggle.com. Kaggle is an amazing open source repository that holds information for the public to be data mined. But Kaggle is not for the weaker faint of heart. This is big data we are talking about. In fact, a more relevant continuous data set is available via tesladeaths.com and they are reporting that fire deaths are at 17%. But if you want to learn cool new things and you have the skills of a data miner, then check out Kaggle. You can find out all sorts of unique and interesting stuff such as YouTube video data. But you don't need to be a data miner to learn that because I already did it for you. And you can learn more about the world of trending YouTube video data here. People ask me all the time, what does an ice axe have to do with data mining? Well, the fact is, is your data is a reflection of your soul. And most people's data is just pure frozen solid. So it's gonna take this ice axe just to pick through it. But you have a chance to warm your soul up today by giving this video a like. Not only does that increase your karma, but that will boost your profile ranking. Not only that, if you subscribe, you'll also get to find out all the cool new things that I find mining data. But better yet, if you share this video because you should to save a life or to show this to your Tesla driving friends if you're not a Tesla supporter yourself, then you should please do that. But like Bruce Lee said, doing all those things will increase your karma. Well, he didn't say that. He said you should be like water. And that's what it'll do. It'll warm your soul up like water. Be like water. But not even water can put out a Tesla fire. Back to the data. While Tesla Motors will never directly report the statistical findings the same way I am, it's up to you to data mine through it yourself and find out. While 296 Tesla motor deaths is not that many in hindsight, further sample testing must be conducted in the future to determine if the information is statistically significant to the overall vehicle population. When Clint is explored, the Tesla motor fatalities data set indicates that more victims are passengers in the countries of USA, Canada, Germany, and China. While the vast majority of deaths involve one person, a noticeable increase in deaths starts in 2020, and additionally, the number of Tesla deaths doubled in 2022 versus 2021. Since the inception of Tesla EV, only 43 states have had fatalities, the highest state being California. The words describing the fatalities fire and its synonyms were counted for 41 different instances, yielding a descriptive statistic of 13.8% of Tesla motor fatalities involving fire. As a baseline statistic, this study can now be used in distribution testing relative to US auto deaths. Overall, more data needs to be collected and examined over time to monitor this trend. Also, this study serves as a baseline for comparing electric vehicles as more automakers manufacture them for daily driving. Let's mine through the data in Python. All right, so we are mining using Python in Jupyter Notebooks. In this cell right here, I'm importing the necessary libraries that I'm gonna need. I'm using Seaborn for visualizations and matplotlib. So I run the code, prove it compiles. Here I'm importing the CSV file that I got from Kaggle. You can also get it from Tesla Desk. Here I am inspecting the head. Here I noticed that the year is a little messed up, so I'm gonna have some cleaning to do on the data. So, because I need to remove that decimal point, I got the date, country, state, description, and death. So that being the death frequency count. So onto this, I see the original shape was 309 rows, but I'm gonna drop all of the columns, or I'm sorry, all of the rows with missing values. So I do that using the uh, drop in a function. And then we see the shape is 296 rows after it's been removed, so 4% sparse. So that's a pretty good data set. And here I am running the describe function, getting descriptive statistics. With the descriptive statistics, then I now have a little bit of an idea as to how this is going to work, but I still need to clean up the year. I have to get rid of this decimal point. So from this point, I run this code. So this code right here is going to remove 
the last, uh, it's gonna move the decimal point essentially, and it did. It did move it for me. So in this portion of the code, I'm running to ensure that it's good. And in this portion of the code, we are going to take the years that are now cleaned and we are going to explore the years. So this graph, we see that 2013 is when it starts, goes to 2022, and here we have 2022 is way more than double of 2021. And 2019 and 2020 are almost the same, but 2022 definitely has an increase. So in this part, we are gonna run this. We're gonna say that uh, 296 deaths, unique deaths, okay. So we aren't double counting deaths. And in this point, we find out how, what the frequency modes are. So we see that the majority of deaths are one person. Some people have passengers and some people up to three passengers. And when we explore what states are going on here, what states we see is we have California being the leader. Well, duh, I mean, that's the most uh, US population. Then we have Florida, Virginia, and a little bit of hodgepodge of states here and there, but there's only 43 states. So unique count of states is 43. So here we go to the unique count of countries. The unique count of countries is gonna be 23. So 23 countries have had Tesla fatalities. And of these Tesla fatalities in these countries, we see that the US has the most. So we see that US, Canada, China, and Germany, and France have people in a population with a higher propensity to go into a Tesla, to ride in a Tesla. That's what it means. Well, that's one way you could interpret the data. And here we run the necessary libraries I need because what I want to do is explore the description column and find out what words are gonna be most commonly used. And so we can start to get an idea as to how these Tesla fires and explosions and how, how often they are occurring. So I generate this word cloud. So what I wanna do is I bring, I import first off all of the word cloud libraries that I need. And after I import all the word cloud of libraries that I need, what I do is I take all of the words in the description and I strip them all down and lowercase them. I use the English language for uh, common words to remove common stop words such as hashtags. And that's why you should stop using hashtags and read about that. I'm sorry, watch that in this video here. Either way, here we have a count of each word and I'm looping through this set of words. And now from here, I am running the word cloud and the word cloud outputs the what words are commonly used and the word size is gonna indicate its frequency. And we can see here that I'm seeing things such as burns, fire, ignites, combusts, all these sort of uh, synonyms for fire are apparent in this word cloud. So I'm gonna do searches for the word fire. So in this, I, in this cell, I search for the word fire and it gets a unique count of just 19 instances containing the word fire. So I do unique count of people who want to avoid the word fire and use the synonym. So those are 24 unique counts of people using bursts, ignites, combusts, flames, burns. In this cell, I combine the two, fire and synonyms, and we have a total of 41 unique rows or instances that involve fire and Tesla fatalities. Which means that 41 of 296 rows is 13.8%. And like I said, Tesladesk.com is reporting an even higher statistic at 17%. And that's a continuous data set. That means people are reporting every day to it. I am now highly confident after this period of instruction, you are now an informed consumer and you will be able to be more of a defensive driver on the road with Tesla Vehicle. Once again, my name is Data Mining Mike. Be sure to like, subscribe, and smash that bell for more data-driven updates.